I think I first heard about Bitcoin in 2010, so it was quite early days then. It was a curiosity. It was you know, something somebody had done. Nobody knew whether anything was ever going to come of it. So, uh, yeah, I, I kept watching the news. Well, long story. I, I'd been watching the news. In 2011, Bitcoin has been going for a couple of years, seemed to have a bit of staying power. Uh, I bought myself some Bitcoins. I spent £100 on a, a, an exchange. I think I bought something like 19 Bitcoins. And uh, once I had them, I thought, oh, what can I do with these? Ah, not a lot. I can maybe sell them. That doesn't sound very fun. So, <laughs> lovely. Um, <laughs> so, maybe I can sell them. That doesn't sound very fun. So I just hung on to them and more or less forgot about them. I followed the news every so often. And then it got to be early 2013. There was this great big Bitcoin bubble. So it was in all the newspapers. Uh, I look at my Bitcoin and say, oh, shit. I spent £100 on them. They're worth £2,000 now. What can I do with them? The answer is still pretty much not a lot. Maybe you can sell them. Still not very much fun. So I, in my reading, it did seem that the protocol had been designed so that spending them in person for small transactions was a plausible thing to do. So I looked into what it would take to do that. And eventually, I was stuck up in Norwich for a month looking after a pub while the manager and the other manager were on honeymoon together. And so one evening I thought, right, let's, let's just do it. It took me a couple of evenings to pack together enough code to take them over the bar. I did some test transactions on the Bitcoin testnet, and then it seemed to be fairly stable, so I deployed it to all of my pubs. And this was, I think, 23rd of May. I spent a week in the pub in Norwich, spending my own Bitcoins in my own pub for my own beer. Once it seems to be fairly stable, no problems, it goes through very smoothly, I put that pub on a site called Bitcoin.travel. They wrote back to me after my initial listing submission and said, we're not going to put your pub on this, on this website because your website doesn't mention the fact that you take Bitcoin. So if you want to put your pub on here, your website has got to talk about Bitcoin. So I wrote a page on the website that s explained how we take Bitcoin, how it works over the bar, how it works behind the scenes in terms of once we get the Bitcoins, how do we turn them back into pounds. Put that there and they went, oh, awesome. We'll accept your listing and they posted it to Reddit. <laughs> and once it was on Reddit, lots of people commented and someone spotted, oh, hang on a minute, that web page says we accept, you accept the Bitcoin in all of your pubs. There's one down in Hackney close to me, let's go along and try it. And so while I was still stuck up in Norwich, they came along here to the Pembury and spent Bitcoin for beer, which did catch my staff by surprise a little bit, but it did work. <laughs> and they posted about their experience on Reddit and uh, lots of other people came in and spent their Bitcoins in the pub. And yes, it was all very surprising. As for what actually made me want to accept them, that goes back to accepting credit cards, which I've been doing for 10 years. But it's a very, it's a bit iffy. Like we have a lovely integrated till system, but to take a card transaction, you type the beers into the till, the till comes up with the total, you then have to manually copy the total from the card machines, sorry, from the tills screen into the card machine, take it over to the customer, take their card, the card machine prints out a couple of pieces of paper, you then have to copy a confirmation code from the piece of paper back into the till, file the piece of paper away, and then you're done. There are lots of manual steps in this, and people make mistakes when you ask them to copy things from A to B. It's a very error-prone thing, such that Days when the card machine total matches the till total of the cards are the exception rather than the rule. So the good thing about taking Bitcoin through the tills is that there is no manual step. The till presents a QR code requesting payment in Bitcoin, and when it receives it, it goes, yes, thank you very much, we got that. At the end of the day, it knows how much it's had. It's all reconciled automatically. There's no scope for manual error. And that was attractive. Clearly, card machines can be integrated with till systems. You know, the supermarkets all do it. Big pub chains like Weatherspoons all do it. But I haven't managed to find a card service provider 
who is interested in working with a company of my size. We, we only have five pubs. Uh, we're, we're obviously too small for them to be worth talking to. And so that itch of wanting to integrate payment services into the till and not being able to do so was something that I could solve by taking Bitcoin. This is something which I'm willing to change in the future, but at the moment, to avoid volatility, so if there's a sudden spike in the price of Bitcoin followed by a crash, I don't really want to suddenly start giving my beer away for nothing. So I am using the BitcoinCharts.com API, and I'm using the seven-day weighted average of Bitcoin to British Pound exchange rates. And then I'm adding an 8% weighting in my favor. Now, as it turns out, since I've started accepting Bitcoins, the, the exchange rate has been going down. And so the fact that I've decided to do this has been working in my customers' favor. But it's fairly fair, I think. The alternative would be to use spot prices and then as quickly as possible turn the bitcoins back into British pounds to reduce my exposure to the market. Yes, for example, the bitcoin meetup has turned up here today and has spent 250 pounds over the bar in bitcoin. Um, and I'm sure they wouldn't have done that had we not been taking bitcoin. On the whole, I think it's a novelty value at the moment. Whether that translates into convenience factor and long-term increase in custom, it's still too early to say. We've, been, we've only been taking them three weeks, so it's only days. But we've already done 1,200 quid's worth over the bar in those three weeks. So it's small, but not negligible. I certainly, when, when I first did this, when, when I first started accepting Bitcoin, it was about 80 pounds for Bitcoin, now it's dropped to about 65. And I was a little bit slow at starting to convert my bitcoins back into pounds. So I have actually made a small loss on it. I've made about 12 pounds loss on a thousand pounds worth of bitcoin trade. But that is still less than I would have had to pay to take credit cards.